Welcome back everybody, Brobent here. Today we're in Satisfactory on episode 6. This is the most compact video that I've made on this game so far. I get so much done, we elevate all the way up to oil, uh, we start getting generators done, we manufacture computers, and I even start driving some vehicles. This is a crazy episode, that's all coming up. <laughs> Storage container mark 2, look at that. I really do want to build those, but they look pretty expensive right now actually. Conveyor belt mark three, steel beams. Okay, I can do that. I'm actually not using steel beams for anything. They're all in here, so hell yeah. Okay, time to see just how fast these are. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, they're so much faster. <gasps> Look at that! They're going so fast. I love it, this is so good. I'm going overkill with upgrading like everything to tier three. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun. Yeah, you see, look at that. Now the screws are actually been held back. That's what I want. Yeah, look at that. That's doing perfectly. So it's always going to have screws in. When this finishes, it should have enough of it. Yeah, easily. Okay, cool. That'll not stop now. I can actually do with overclocking that. And how's this doing? Not bad. Not bad. God, these new conveyors are so damn cool. I love everything just moving, like, really quick. I wonder if there's a fourth. Who knows? God, this is so disgusting. It's really messy, but I mean, it works. It works. I don't know how that works. What? <laughs> I've done that twice now. So silly. And finally, that is now powered, and it should be making modular frames. It's working. God, it's a nightmare jumping over all these conveyors. They're just so damn fast. Okay, I'm gonna slap this down right here. That will pick up some of the frames. And connect that to there. Oh my god. And we are now good to go to AFK for a little while. Nice. So I've been thinking about the main bottleneck for this whole process right now, and the thing that I need more of is screws. So on the side here, I've realized that, you know, I've only got two uh, smelters running. So what I'm going to do is add an extra smelter, an entire new line here that's going to make screws, and I'm going to add that to this conveyor, bringing them up to the top. Makes the most sense to me anyway. So now I'm going to have two individual screw production lines. I'm actually not going to split the screws over here. Um, oh, careful. Uh, right here, I'm just going to completely dismantle this. And I'm going to have that just run straight into here. So that should produce them much faster now. So I'm just going to upgrade all these to Mark III. And connect this to there. And they should now all be running. So that's going to make screws. And this is going to make iron ingots. Okay, now it should be done. This should be producing screws. Yes, look at that. That's perfect. So I should have everything needed now for the next shipment. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, 150. Man, I need like something to help me get down here. I could do with the U jelly, but it's only one spot, you know? And I should have a few frames. <laughs> wow, I think I need 500 of these actually, so. So I set up this little conveyor to get me over to the coal plant just really quick. It's so nice. It's expensive, but it's nice. I don't have to walk like five times faster. Lush. Look at that. Look at that arrival. So damn good. Hey. And I've also done the way back as well. It's so much faster. It's just, oh God, it takes that stress out of, oh, well, most of it. <laughs> I just hate traveling all that distance. It's so far. Wait, does that split? You can just place splitters on conveyors and it splits it automatically? Wow. So I just noticed that the coal isn't producing as fast as it should be. So I'm going to head over to the mine. Uh, and on the way, I'm also going to scan for uh, some more... I forgot what we call them. The slugs. Because I need to overclock it as well. Oh! I forgot about you. Unless I'm actually stuck. Am I stuck? Are you kidding? Dude, the amount of times I got stuck in this game. Yep, I've genuinely just found a hole in the world. <laughs> oh my god. Luckily, I had an autosave, like, right before I got stuck. Wow. Okay, let's not get stuck in there again. It's right in there. <laughs> whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not... Do I want to be going down there? Oh, I need to go. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that! 
Okay, well, scratch that. Not getting that one. Let's get a different one. What's happened here? You see that cut out? It cut out? What the hell? There's like no coal here for a second. There we go, finally. Yo, this is a really weird biome. Look at this. That's the miner just over there. Yo, what? This biome's amazing. I love it. I want to build here. Oh, and also, there's this wreck, like, right next to where I've got the mine. So I think I can run the power line into this. Yep, the power's just there. So if I run that over here, like so, can I hook it in? Yes. Nice. Where's the hatch? Do I have to get up here? I need some screws. I don't have them. Damn, I'll have to come back. Okay, let's overclock you to 200%. <laughs> That's going to overload the system. I know it is. Dude, this is so cool. I love just riding the conveyors. Okay, you know what time it is? It's time to go and unlock the next set of objectives. I should have enough. Oh, come on, I'm seven off. Finally got enough. God, that is a lot of frames. Okay, so I'm gonna send this up, and I think what I also wanna do at some point is, oh my God, that's really fast, um, is start working on making uh, a truck, and I can start transferring things. From real wait, did I just cancel it? I did. From really far away, because for example, the coal plant all the way over there, it's really far and it's quite expensive, so let's get this going real quick. God, that sounds so beastly. And send. <laughs> Dude, I love this. This looks so sick. I wanna get away. Dude, that looks so cool. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. Okay, so what exactly have I unlocked? Let's take a look. Uh, oil processing, industrial manufacturing, jetpack, gas mask, hell yes. Expanded power infrastructure. Fuel generator, conveyor belt mark four. Hell yeah, Dude, this is so good. Computer, how do I make computers? Oil processing, circuit boards, plastic, fuel, rubber. Oil pump, oil refinery. Oh, I've already got a truck, wait. Manufacturer and a truck. I thought I already had a truck. And this allows me to make computers if I unlock that as well. Dude, this is so cool. Okay, let's do oil processing first. Oh, it's a tractor. Got ya. So I'm just next to the base and I found two more iron deposits or iron, I guess, deposits, yeah. And I've decided to set up a little um, rod factory because I'm really low on rods right now. It's the one thing holding me back. So this entire factory is just going to be dedicated to making rods. The question is, can I connect all three of these inputs into one merger and keep the output flowing smoothly? There we go. That should be completely connected going directly into the splitter. So downstairs, these rods, I'm just going to completely disconnect all of this. And this entire line is just going to be dedicated to making screws. So, this little splitter right here... Actually, no, I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to let it build up in here in case I do need some. Okay. That should all be booting up now. Hopefully, I don't overload the whole system here. I might have to add some more coal power plants. Let's take a look. This is a Mark II, by the way. It's the second one that I built. Uh, yep, there we go. Look at that. It's working. Now, that I want to watch this. Split it. I think, you see, I might have to actually overclock this because it's... Oh. Okay. Okay. You know what? I don't think I do need to overclock it. It seems to be producing them quite steadily. Oh no, definitely do need to overclock. And these rods are all merging in and being sent off there. So, as you can see, I definitely need to overclock this. This stream needs to be much more consistent. But, it's working. And that's the important part. And fully overclock that to speed up the process. And that is doing how many? It takes 10 seconds now, and that's down to 6 seconds. That's much faster. There's a lot of deadly ass drops around here. Look at that. I've gotta be careful. Wait, is that in the tree? It's in the tree. What are you doing up there? <laughs> oh, thank God, that's a solid object. Wait, come on, not again. Okay, so I've just made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, okay, just just six. Six more uh, coal power plants. That's pretty crazy. So I'm just going to connect all these up. Hopefully this is going to be enough with the conveyor belts here. Uh, we'll have to see. Hopefully I'm going to be able to power all of these. 
with these conveyors, but we'll see. So far, it's actually looking quite unlikely. So I'm just going to upgrade all of these to Mark III, and I've done that all the way back as well. And we should be good to go. It's just going to... No, no. Yeah. That's perfect. Let's check the power. The generators are all on. And we are getting a lot of energy here. Wait, did I miss that one down at the bottom? I did. I missed one. And we should have another one connected. Yep, it's just gone up again. I think I've close to maybe doubled the power that I was getting. It's crazy. Okay, so now it's time to unlock oil processing. I've got the, uh, the frames here. Let's go. Where's the chance of expiration during out of base activities? Where's the closest source of crude oil? Is it really far away? It's gonna be really far away, isn't it? It is really far away. It's not pinged yet. Still not pinged. What? What? Is it just... Oh. <laughs> 2,273 meters away. So I can make an oil pump and oil refinery. However, I need those weird looking frames. So how do I make those? Heavy modular frames. Oh my god. Dude, I need more screws. I can make one heavy modular frame. <gasps> oh my god. They are really expensive. Okay, I've decided this, seeing as this is just like slowing down and backing up, I'm going to split off this output. I might just have one of them make screws here. Industrial manufacturing. That should be everything. Nice. So what did that give me again? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so... My account has been AFK for about three and a half hours now, and everything's been running super smooth, and so, there's quite, there might be a few things that you've seen different, like, so for example, over here, this is all new, um, at, up here, I've added an extra, um, manufacturing here for screws separately, um, uh, pipes, or rods, sorry, god damn it. But what I've been AFKing for is over here, now I've added the large containers, and let me show you just how many... Uh, sort of, I guess, ingredients for the next level stuff that I've got. So, right over here in the back, we've got steel beams. And also in here, I've got steel beams. This is encased industrial beams. I've got a lot of those now. They actually take quite a while to make. Over here, we've got pipes. Over here, we've got pipes. Over here, we've got pipes. And that's empty. And <laughs> so much stuff. Look at all the frames. Crazy. Uh, rotors in there. Here, we've got motors. And here, we've got uh, just a few stators. I actually stopped collecting these after a little, little while because I realized that I won't be using them. Um, so, as you can see on the right hand side of my screen, I've got a little to-do list. So, I have to collect a lot of stuff for this to-do list. So, let me start collecting these and then we can start crafting. Now, after AFK, dude, I'm going to burn through so much of these right now. That's crazy. So, the last thing I need to get is also screws, but I'm doing them in thirds just because of how much like inventory space I've got. Uh, so right here should be a lot of screws, yeah, I need 13,000 screws, dude, what? Okay, heavy modular frame, you see, I should just make, like, a, a little small little factory to make them. However, I know it's just gonna take so long, so I'm just gonna do it this way. So if you're not sure, I need 150. Well, I'm actually 134 now, I've made a few. 150, dude, that's so expensive. This is to unlock everything that I've got left for tier 5 and 6, I think. So I've got 50, and I just realized that I'm going to wait for the pod to come back. So I'm going to launch one now. Um, I think I'm going to do uh, conveyor mark 4, is it? Um, if I do this one, then I can unlock the jetpack. If I do this one, I can unlock conveyor mark 4. You know, I think I'm going to do the jetpack. However, I need computers for all of these. What? I need 50 computers, so what do I need to make those? I think I'm going to make a standalone factory just for computer parts. And that's probably going to be somewhere way over there. I think there's some oil just over there. I think I've already set one up and gone AFK with that as well. So that's all of the heavy frames made. God, that took a while. And now what I'm going to do is head over to an oil deposit. And that is where we're going to make our little computer factory. I'm also going to use a little vehicle to get there because why not? Okay, so I'm completely ready to head over to the oil now. As you can tell, I think last time I scanned for it, it's really far away. Um, there's also one over there that actually might be a little bit easier to get to. However, it is a little bit further. Little tiny, tiny tractor. Let's throw that down. And I should be able to put in the fuel at the back here. Yes, there we go. Nice. And then, we can drive our first vehicle. Okay. Fairly slow so far. Nope, okay, picking up speed. 
Take it all back. Now you can automate these vehicles to transfer loot from A to B, and using the little, uh, the drop pods, what do you call them, the, like, loading bays, then you can unload and load them, which is really cool, so I'm actually gonna have to scan again here. Now the roads aren't super clear, it's really annoying, um, I might have to make my own, actually. Something that I can do. This is a new biome as well, I don't think I've shown you this quite yet. Are those spiders? Okay, yeah, spiders. Ah, yes, here we are, the wire. So, I've already set up a little, uh, plastic factory. It's just constantly making plastic for me. Uh, so I should have around about one container full now. It's been going for quite some time. But what we're here to do is make a complete automated factory. I'm not sure if I should use the conveyor to bring the resources back and do it all back at base. I really don't know. But this is a completely new biome. Look how cool this area is. I've also got quite a lot of slugs from here. Oh, 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 river. Careful. And just over here should be the oil rig. I can beep! Oh, hey, I also want to look at this really quickly. I believe I have the screws needed to fix this. Uh, wait, no, I need rubber for this. Oh, never mind. Aha, here it is. <laughs> okay, it's backed up. It's backed up all the way. I've got at least two containers full. So here's some plastic, here's some plastic, <laughs> and here's some plastic. Dude, that's crazy. It's not producing any. Why is it not producing any? Oh, it is. It's just quite slow. Damn, look at that. I can tell you what, building this conveyor is going to take some serious time. And resources, not to mention resources. I mean, these conveyor belt Mark 3s are relatively cheap right now because I just have loads of steel beams going. And I'm out of steel beams. <laughs> I need so many more. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why don't I just use the trucks for this? And there's a few reasons. One, if I use a truck, then I've got to build the really long and clunky roads to go with it. And I don't fancy doing that either. The conveyor just seems so much cleaner and faster and maybe more reliable. So I'm just going to stick with those for a little bit. I love how this tractor fits perfectly on this bridge. <laughs> I can even throw a little wall down. I wouldn't have to worry about going in the, the water. So I'm going to try and make a bridge across this entire thing. I think it'll just make it a little bit easier. Going down here is like really annoying. Finding your way through and navigating. So I think this bridge will help a little bit. Hopefully I've got enough here. Okay. And we continue. I remember when I first found the uh, the slugs, and I was like, I don't know when I'm ever going to use these. And I've used every single one that I've gotten so far. <laughs> yeah. The question is, after all this, will I have enough concrete? I've got 40 left. Mycelia and silica. Interesting. Okay, so, the conveyor belt across the world is pretty much done. The base is just over here. So now I'm going to start scanning for iron. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some iron for these computers. Hmm, okay, so I might have to move it over there, the factory. Yeah, okay, let's move it over there. So I was thinking over here is a good location. However, there's no copper around, I don't think. Let me scan once again. So the location I'm thinking is just over here. There is copper that way, actually. Um, yeah, it's only one, though. I'm definitely going to need both, so... Yeah, it'll do, it'll do. I completely forgot that I built that. I built a massive, like... Factory base. I wanted to move the factory over here. I oh, gotta remember that. That's useful. Nice. So we might as well make use of this. You know why not? I think maybe is there some coal around here? Hmm. Not too far away, so I can add some generators to the loop here. Okay. So the power lines all set up. So now I need to make the th well, three uh, oil refineries, which is kind of annoying because it's not going to be completely symmetrical here. But maybe I can add four. Who knows? Okay, hopefully that's not going to overload the system. So I've only got three refineries because I can only make three things with these. So I figured I'd just make all of them right here, right now. And everything is connected. Yep, everything's running really well. So I'm going to go over there now. I'm going to make sure that it doesn't overload. If it does, then I need to go and add some more coal power plants. Also, that's something I did while I was just waiting for some uh, ingredients to craft. I added some more coal generators and I think I've got 21 of them now. Which is pretty crazy. Oh, they're running. Let's check the power. Okay. That might overload at some point here. Okay, let's get some plastic and I can start to make, I can start to make some of these uh, computers now. So I need five circuit boards to make a computer and I can make, okay, I wonder if that's gonna overload. Let's see, please don't. Damn it. 
Oh, oh, oh. We're good, we're good. Okay, so while that's producing just a little bit of plastic, what I'm gonna do is set up the uh, copper generator. I'm gonna need quite a lot of copper for this. I don't think I need iron yet, but wire is something that I really do need for this. So hopefully there's a couple of them around here. Uh, looks like it's just the one. Oh well. This is 100% gonna overload any second now. But, it's set up. So, let me quickly check. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. Maybe. As soon as I connect this, it probably will overload when they start actually doing stuff. Oh my god, that's fast. And that's my first computer. Well, two of them. Nice. I think I need... How many do I need for the assembler? The manufacturer? One more. Wow. There we go. And I can now place... Jeez, this thing's big. That thing's humongous. Definitely gonna have to start doing multi-stories over here. So this can make heavy modular frames and it can make computers. However, I need to make circuit boards, so... What's going on there? Okay, it should be an assembler. Yeah, circuit boards. Okay, so I need wire and I need plastic for that. Perfect. So I think I'm gonna split this off. I need plastic for quite a lot of things. So straight off there, let's split that into three. So let's connect the plastic to the assembler and let's get this line coming in. Wait, can I not? Is it too close? There we go, and that's connected in. So this should make circuit boards, and just gotta power it. Hopefully this doesn't cut off. Please don't cut off. I do, however, definitely, definitely need to overclock this. It's so slow. Okay, so that's the manufacturer. This needs to make computers, and I need a lot. <laughs> you see, this is why I wanted to make the, uh, the near an iron deposit, because I can just make some cables and screws over here, instead of, you know, using my supply over there. And this also uses plastic, so half of that is going to go straight into here. Right? I think so. So I also need cables, so we're going to use a splitter and take half of the wire there and half of it over here. Wait, oh, I forgot to connect it. God, this is going to overload at some point, I just feel it. So that's now making cable, and that is also going to run into there, like so. So now all I need to do is make some screws, so I'm going to set up another mine here, just a small one, to, uh, to manufacture some screws. So I'm just connecting the final ingredient, the screws up now, and hopefully this will reach perfect. Perfect. Wait, are these going to start flowing in soon? Yes they are. Nice. And it's already powered, so it should start constructing some as soon as it's got enough. There we go, it's producing. You know what, it's actually not that slow. Okay, I just realized that I need a lot of these. I need a lot. So I'm gonna have to overclock this to at least 200. Okay, let's do that. Please don't, please don't, please don't. It's going to, isn't it? It really is. Come on. Oh, oh, it's doing it. It's close, it's really close. But there we go, we are finally, fully automatically manufacturing computers. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna make a second assembler to put together more circuit boards. Because <laughs> it's quite slow. Please don't. It's gonna it's gonna shut down. So this is quite slow for now. You see the computers just go through. We've got ten so far. Um, I'm gonna leave it running for a while and I'm gonna start working on getting some more power running. And then once I've got that, I think I'm gonna convert all this floor into just computers. I'll change this to make plastic and then I'll have another uh, manufacturer making computers again. Um, just because that's how badly I need them. Oh wow, tier 7 and 8 are completely unavailable. I've got the, uh, the most advanced stuff in the game so far. Well, I haven't unlocked them yet, but I've sort of progressed that far. Wow. Okay, it's time to work on the third floor. I want to start making some heavy, uh, heavy frames. So, uh, let's use the small one here and fill in this entire floor. You know, I've been wondering since, like, literally minute one if I can jump and fly on you. I'm about to find out. I mean, it goes underneath there, so it's not that big, and it's not that high up, it's just like an illusion. Okay, finally, it's time to research something. I've got enough computers now. So, what I'm gonna choose is this. I want the fuel generator, because I think coal, like, is good, but I think this will produce more. This uses oil, um, so that's what we're gonna research here. Do I have to select it again? I think so, yeah. Okay, cool. Ready, let's go. Finally. God, that feels so good. <laughs> Look how the text goes off screen. Milestone. Okay, I can make one fuel generator here, and I'm not entirely sure what it takes. I think it's just the fuel out of here, not oil. 
Um, you know what? I'm just gonna plop it down and find out. It's actually pretty big. Wow. I doubt it takes crude oil. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. So, that's doable. I'll place it up here and simply connect it to this with a conveyor. There we go. Now, it should be self-sufficient. Let me connect this to the main power grid. And there we go. It's kicking off. Nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to press the like button. I got so much done at this episode, and it feels so rewarding. It seems that I've sort of reached an end game point with the game, and I'm not sure how many episodes there are left in it, purely due to how much stuff got accomplished this episode. I really want to mess around with the tractors and things like that, and see if I can automate fuel going from one section of the map to the other. If you're looking forward to seeing that, make sure to tune in next time. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will catch you in the next video.